guys, it's 407 Eats. Today we're at SeaWorld, gonna try out the pass holder picnic. If you're new around here, we like to eat at different restaurants and try all the different foods around Disney, Universal, and just Orlando. So if you guys are ready for a whale of a time, please join us on this episode of 407 Eats. All right, so we're here 15 minutes early, and this is the line already. Oh my gosh, all the way out the door. You know, Jessica, I think we're gonna have to play Tetris with our plate, because we're not gonna have time to go for seconds. We have two plates. <laughs> then before you go in, they got the beer tent, of course, and a little merch stand set up. All right, so here's what's going on. They got a bunch of different stations. This is kind of like the old sausage and Bread. roll, <laughs> bread roll. They got pretzel rolls. <laughs> These are like the same little $6 tostadas that they got on food and wine right now. <laughs> nice, we got the Jessica station over here for little babies. Fill up. Oh. I, think, I think they're having McDonald's cater, honestly. Those look good. I wouldn't be mad. Everybody's crowding around the old Mac salad. Dude. Look at this thing. So, <laughs> the toppings bar with the macaroni salad. It's beautiful. I don't think I've ever had coleslaw with blueberries. First time for everything. Little bean boy. Oh, dude, main attraction. Here we go. Oh, chicken wingies. What do you want? And then make sure you're not an amateur like Tyler and lose your drink ticket. I'll share. I'll share. Is this what they. Is this what they meant by the live entertainment here? Cause if so, I'm fine with it. So what's your thoughts on the spread so far? I mean, I think it looks good. I'll decide if I like it when I taste it, but we got some chicken, I got sauce. Looks like you forgot to get some sauce. I know, second rookie mistake. See, that's why we're doing these videos to help people out. Yeah. There's a separate sauce station. No, the sauce, okay. But there was sauce on the table we were at, but it was behind the chicken. Why? One plate in. I can't tell if it is actually really, really good or I was just really, really hungry. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. It's actually really, really good. The chicken is super juicy. This hot mess though. What is this? Blueberries and coleslaw? That must be like a southern thing because I've never seen this in my life. Well, this was like a, the tuna thing. It was actually pretty good. It was like a tuna salad. It had like a little like bit of cranberry or something on there. It was pretty legit. And dude, can we talk about the kids' food for a second? This little nugget right here, Okay, it's like a McDonald nugget, but with KFC breading on it. I don't know how I feel about that. I don't think I've ever had a KFC nugget. This mac and cheese though, it looks like there's cheese on it, but it doesn't taste like there's cheese on it. Um, update, it wasn't macaroni salad. It's just actually macaroni and cheese with extra cheese and some bacon bits. And then don't forget the most important, which all these people are missing out on. That's the dessert table. Oh, we got here, big old cobbler. <laughs> Look oh, at the wow. biggest. And more cobbler. Cobbler, uh, cobbler. Oh, oh, here we go. Pre-packaged, oh, processed. Oh my gosh, it's shaped like him. R.I.P. Mickey bars, there's a new girl in town. And then the real reason we came to the picnic, it's the spooky, spooky cookie monster. <laughs> How was it? It was probably the best experience at SeaWorld of my life so far, but I've only been here twice. So you went for the kids' chicken nuggets, the kids' mac and cheese, and now you have the kids' ice cream bar. All right, and the food's only half of it. So they got the animal ambassadors out as well. It's pretty much full grown. You know that. Oh, watch out. <laughs> you, you survived. Dude, what about this grass though? This like, every, nobody's gonna know what we're talking about, but it's like, it's um, it's sod or something, and it's oh, raised no. up. It's like super thick grass, it's fun. Yeah, southern thing. And then they got some ladder ball slash hillbilly golf slash my specialty. Uh, we'll see, I'm good at everything, so. Considering you don't even know the rules or have you ever played this before, I have a feeling I'm gonna win this I'm gonna one. take off the bag so I have more arm motion. One point, the middle's two. He's the making up three. rules right now. Go ahead, see how good you do. Let the professional take a turn. Is there style points? Oh! Oh my, oh she got it! So that was the first event of the triathlon. Number one. Jessica's up 1-0. 
And we all know that you have to let the ladies win the first one. I got it. What color was I last time? I want to make sure I'm consistent. Red? Oh! <laughs> Dang it! And it may look like Jessica won this round, but ding, 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 winner. Uh, everyone knows that you have to let the boy win the second round. They also have huge checkers. Okay, so for game three, instead of checkers, we're gonna do Rochambeau. Here we go, three, two, one, shoot. Three, two, one, shoot. Oh! And my strategy with that is everyone is too lazy to throw something different besides rock. So you hit him with the paper on the first throw. Okay, you have to put a timer at the bottom to see who goes along. Go, 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 go. Oh boy. So it said it recorded for 10 seconds, but I think I started a little early. All right, Tyler's turn. My prediction, uh, half a second. You gotta get the stance low. Oh, okay. Oh God, oh no, oh no, oh no. Should, the should Tyler quit his job and become a professional hula hooper? Comment down below. And then they actually do have one other game, Connect Four. I play this all the time at work. <laughs> this is gonna be the tiebreaker. Here we go. All right, you sticking with Team Red? Oh, this will not end well for her. A few moments later. All right, I'm gonna have to color correct this video and turn the yellow pieces into red pieces and the red pieces into yellow because I think I might have lost, folks. And just an update, it's actually about 1 p.m. right now and there are no lines. Oh my gosh, look at this. The only thing is you might risk running out some of the food, but dude, 1 p.m., huh? Just get here by 1.30, because then you can't get in. Well, yeah. Get here super early, and then get the first round, and then wait a little while, and then come back. And get your bread. Get your, uh... Get your tater salad. <laughs> yeah, we tried most of the food, but sometimes you'd go up, and it wouldn't be there. Oh! One drink per person. And if you're wondering why she had two tickets, actually some MVP came up and gave me my lost ticket. Or, or it's someone else's lost ticket, and they're out of, like... <laughs> All right, and then the last activity, besides the music, is you can actually make pet toys as part of the Pet Alliance. Oh, look at the little cat. He's a dog with a jab. Oh, what are these? Oh, they take the old shirts. Oh, yeah, they take the old shirts and make them into scarves. Puppy fashion, puppy high fashion. Where can I get one for myself? All right, so that was the picnic. I would say if I have to redo it, I'd go get a ton of food and then take it over and help make the toys oh, instead yeah. of sitting in the main area. So we talked to Mark, who was the head of the special events here, and they said the biggest change they made was to elevate the food level. And dude, did they do that? Man, that food was so good, especially the chicken. It was like a rotisserie, but then they finished it off on the grill. Yeah, I would say the chicken was definitely my favorite part as well. Uh, and they had unlimited ice cream bars. And it was cool how they had the little preview of some of the stuff that's going to yeah. be coming out for the festival next year. And that was really good. The hush puppy, the little tuna salad, and then the little uh, little barbacoa thing. Spicy boy. They had plenty of games out. They had a ton of seating. The music's been upbeat. It's been adding to it. DJ. What's his name? Shout out to DJ Tony for playing every annoying song that I love. Yeah, we're talking like Gungam style. What does the fox say? <laughs> oh, and then, yeah, yeah, the meet and greets at the same yeah. time. So, Elmo and Cookie Monster. They were actually, they were okay. They were no, fun. They were great. They were fun. So yeah, overall, man, that was a good experience. And I, we got everything. Like, we literally did pretty much everything and there's still some time left. So it's not super busy and crowded. Overall, we're 20 bucks. I'd say so. Yeah. I think it was good. Good experience. Especially if you're here all day. Mm -hmm. Fill up. Leave a comment. Let us know where you want to see us eat at next time. Maybe we'll feature at the beginning of the next episode. But thanks for watching, everyone. Like and subscribe. I love you guys. Like and subscribe. Bye. <laughs>